The crèche once again seek the sanctuary of the ferns, even though, weighing half a ton now, they are not as well hidden as they used to be. As they grow, their teeth become more like the adults. These are simple pegs that are not designed to nip or chew. Instead, they are perfect for stripping ferns of their leaves. Nearby, the vast skeleton of an adult Diplodocus lies where it fell. Such huge weight-bearing bones are too large for any forest creature to remove. The female sauropodlet can have little idea that in 10 years she will be almost as large as this. But the crèche realize they are too near the edge of the forest and retreat into its green depths. Elsewhere, an adult Diplodocus herd is clearing forest. This is how they have shaped the landscape around them. Vast areas of prairies and open forests are kept that way because sauropods flatten so many trees in the search for food. The Diplodocus are actually after the ferns that grow between the trees because their teeth are more suited to these soft green leaves rather than woody branches. One of the reasons these creatures are so massive is because it allows them to have a hugely long gut that can digest the toughest Jurassic vegetation. Whole leaves pass into their guts where stones the dinosaurs have swallowed help grind their food down so that bacteria ferment it and release nutrients. It is a process that produces a lot of excess gas. While the gut digests, the body is free to continue its remorseless search for food. 